We're now joined by Baylor freshman from IMG Academy, Keontae George. Big 12 media days in Kansas City over. And Keontae joins Craig Smoke, Paul Catalina, and David Smoke. Keontae, thank you very much. How do you kind of explain just the day you've had at the media days? Oh, it was a great experience uh, for me. Um, just as far as I mean, you know, seeing all the players and all the reporters coming up asking us questions and just you know, giving them a rundown of what we've been working on and just giving us some goals for, you know, not just me, but, you know, some goals for, uh, for my team as well. So, you know, I was blessed to be a part of a, um, you know, a day like that. Keontae, it- does it get you like more excited, more impatient for the actual season to start? I mean, you had the summer where you guys played together in in the tournament in Canada, and then you're you're here to practice. You're at media days. How antsy are you at are you to do it for real? Uh, no, I'm really excited. Um, you know, to go out there and compete with my brother. Um, you know, I can't wait. Uh, you know, I'm itching to get on the floor, uh, play my first college game. So, like I said, I can't wait to go out there and compete. Keontae, how do you deal with being so young and already having so much attention and so many expectations? Oh, I think it just comes with, um, you know, having great people around you. Um, you know, the staff has done a great job for me just, you know, instilling good information in my head each and every day. Um, so, you know, that's been a, you know, big thing for me um, on why I came here and, you know, uh, you know, it's just been helping me through this process each and every day, just enjoying the process, not skipping steps. Um, so, you know, um, like I said, just, um, you know, keeping my mind right, um, keeping a great head space, and, you know, just keeping the main thing the main thing. To follow up on what Craig asked you, has it ever gotten to the point where it's a little overwhelming? Uh, no, I just, like, um, I just I appreciate everything that comes my way. Um, like I said, it's a, it's a blessing. I'm going to have a lot of things come my way, and I don't take anything for granted. But at the end of the day, the ball's going to stop bouncing. So, you know, as far as I'm, how I'm playing the game that I love, uh, everything that comes towards me, um, you know, I'm going to appreciate everything. Keontae George, Baylor freshman with us, 365 Sports. Specifically, this group of guards, how fun is it just, just those guys who play at guard for you guys to create matchup issues for everybody? Uh, man, we got a lot of weapons on this team. Um, you know, it's fun playing with all the guys. Um, you know, different guys can do different things. And, you know, what they do, um, they do it at a high level. Um, so, you know, it's just fun seeing all the guys, all the work that they put in. And uh, I just can't wait for y'all to see what they've been working on. I, I've heard uh, Flagler, we keep hearing Flagler's pretty jacked. Is he Is he, Is he? he getting ripped up? Uh, yeah, he, 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 he's getting big for sure. <laughs> Keontae George, uh, the the amount of weapons you mentioned, sometimes you have to worry about other enough basketballs. I don't think that's ever a problem with a Scott Drew team. Uh, have you seen any of that at all during the summer or the workouts? Oh, not, not at all. Um, you know, I feel like with this group, um, you know, we all have a common goal. And I feel like, you know, once we have that common goal, um, you know, we're going to play for each other. And that's the thing here. We have a great culture here. Uh, our culture of joy, uh, we play for our, each other. Um, you know, ourself, you know, it's our individual, it's last. So, you know, I think that just comes with the type of culture that we have here. And, you know, it carries us to the court. Keontae, what's it been like to go from, from being the guy talking to, to these coaches on the phone or FaceTiming or, you know, visiting or doing all that to, to being with them on a daily basis, day in and day out? Uh, it's, um, you know, it's really different during that process. Um, but, you know, like I said, the reason I'm here is because, you know, they never lied to me. And, you know, I think they told me throughout this process, um, as far as the Baylor, st- Baylor coaching staff, um, you know, they were telling the truth. And, you know, each and every day they keep me accountable. Um, you know, they're sending me different, you know, information that they pass it down to me. Um, you know, like I said, it's just making me better each and every day. And, uh, you know, like I said, I'm blessed to have a staff like that that really believes in me. And, you know, like I said, um, just fulfilling me each and every day. Has there ever been a shot at a big moment that you thought you couldn't make? Um, You know, I just um, trust my work. Um, I know the type of work that I put in. And so, you know, when I take those type of shots. It's not like I haven't took it before uh, when nobody was around. Um, so, 
you know, like I said, just trusting my work and being able to hit those type of big shots. What are your other hobbies besides shooting, playing, not shooting, you're a hell of a basketball player, well-rounded. Is there anything else that you do if you wanted to just get away? Um, most of the time I like to play uh, video games with, you know, some childhood friends, just kind of take my, take, um, get my head, you know, away from all the things that we deal with, um, as basketball players and, uh, you know, and it's getting cold now, but I, I used to like to go to the pool and swim. Mm. Um, so, you know, that kind of gave me, um, kind of my own type of space as well. Yeah, what's your uh, what's your favorite game? What's your go to? What's your go to games? Uh, and what uh, system? Uh, I play PlayStation Five. Um, I like to play Fall Guys, and I'll play a little Two K. Okay, all right, all right. You you aren't going to the pool anytime soon, are you? Unless it's indoor, right? Nah, not at all. It's, it's cold now. <laughs> yeah, we're saying it's cold, but we're all Texas guys. Yeah, so yeah. It's, it's yeah. Like, this I, is still hey, a little I was, cold snap coming yeah, in right now, yeah. too. Keontae, I was at a high school football practice yesterday morning. It was 58 degrees, and everyone who was not a football player had gloves on. And I yeah. thought, this is crazy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Keontae, with the change in what is college athletics, with the transfer portal, obviously NIL, and, and, and you being a, a star player into to what Baylor is doing, how much has that been to juggle uh, for you, your teammates, and, and just being a student athlete in, at the collegiate level? Um, I think with all this stuff going on, uh, the different, like you said, transfer portal, um, you know, I wasn't really worried about that because at the end of the day, um, you know, like I said, just that that Kevin Rue was, and uh, you know, as far as you know, the NIL standpoint of things, um, you know, I try not to focus on that. In my personal opinion, um, I feel like it's good that you know us collegiate players get to make some money, um, but you know, at the end of the day, I know what my main goal is, and you know, I know that that's you know not the type of money that I want to make for myself. Um, so you know, I kind of you know try to it's it's a blessing for any business that comes to me or anything that comes my way. But, you know, at the end of the day, uh, I love the game of basketball and I play um, because I love it. Um, so I really don't really, you know, pay too much attention to, you know, all the NIO aspects and things. So. In, the, in the end, you guys played in Canada during the summer, and I watched those games against guys that were much older than most of you. In the end, was that time, even though you guys kind of weren't quite yet together and some didn't play, going to be amazing to see – how much difference there is when we see you for the first time in November? Uh, definitely. It's going to be great to see where, uh, where we're at now from when we're in Canada. Um, you know, it wasn't so much – when we were out there, it wasn't so much – of course, it was we wanted to win, but at the same time, um, you know, we wanted to get better each and every day, um, be better than we uh, were um, the last day. You know, uh, we preach, go one and know each and every day. And, you know, when we're out there, you know, it's still a lot of confidence in the guys. Um, I got to learn, you know, about guys off the court and on the court. Um, so, you know, overall, overall, you know, it's a blessing that we got to go out there and compete uh, as one team. Thank you, Keontae. We've had you on a handful of times and every time. Very impressed with you. Mature beyond your years and obviously one heck of a basketball player, but a better person. Thanks for your time. Thank you. Thanks for having me. You too. Keontae George, Baylor freshman from IMG a superstar type player entering the Baylor basketball program. And who knows with Cryer and 